first grade, as you know, we started a new social studies unit this week, and we are learning all about economics. And so far we have discussed all about having a job, and when you have a job, you earn money, and that is called an income. And we can use that income to buy things that we want or need. We can also save our income so we don't have to spend it right away. We can save it for a future purchase. So when we buy things or items, there are two categories that we can put them in. And those categories are called goods and services. So that's what we will be learning about today. And we will be reading a mini book to help us learn about goods and services. So again, our lesson is goods and services. Our I can statement or our learning target is we can compare and contrast goods and services. Remember, compare means how are they the same and contrast means how are they different. The title of our book is Goods and Services by Karen Jones. People who live in a community have jobs so that they can earn money. They use the money to take care of themselves and their families. They use money to pay for goods and services and to satisfy their needs and wants. Goods and services are things that people want or need. Money that people earn can be used to pay for goods or services. What is a good? What is a service? Let's find out. Goods are items that are made to sell. They are consumable. That means that people use them. Goods are things that we buy and use. School supplies are goods. Clothing is a good. A bicycle or vehicle is a good. Toys and electronics are goods. Food is a good. Any item that is bought is called a good. Can you name another item that would be considered a good? Some goods are things that can be used once, like food. Other goods are things you use for a long period of time, like a piece of furniture. Some goods are manufactured. That means they are made by a person or machine. Books and toys are manufactured. Some goods are grown. Fruits and vegetables are goods that are grown and then sold. A service is a work done by someone to help another person. A service is an action. People who perform a service have a special skill that other people may not have. You may pay for someone to drive you places if you don't have a car or bike. You pay them for that service because you cannot do it yourself. If your dad's car breaks down, your dad may not know how to fix it. He may have to take it to a mechanic to get fixed. The mechanic performs a service for your dad. Dad pays the mechanic to fix his car. Can you name another service? Goods and services can be paid for with money. People can also trade to get goods and services that they want or need. Jeffrey is a baker. He's baking bread for Tiara, and in exchange, Tiara is going to take photos of the bread to give to Jeffrey for his blog. They are trading goods and services. Sam is a landscaper. He cuts people's lawns and takes care of their gardens if they are unable to. If Sam and other landscapers did not offer that service, many elderly 
or older members of our community would not be able to care for their property. Some members of our community have jobs where they create or harvest a good. Others have jobs where they provide a service. Both types of jobs are important. Goods and services fulfill the wants and needs of a community. They help to keep our community strong and our people happy and healthy. I hope you enjoyed that book about goods and services and now you know the difference between a good and a service. I like to think about it like this, a good is really something usually that I can hold or put my hands on and a service can't do that. All right, so I hope that you have a great day.